this thatch comes and this sweep of this end piece comes down. Can't quite see it because it's hidden beneath the, the hedge, but I assume it goes like that. Now, it then becomes a little window here. telegraph pole in the way there but I can see behind that and then this angle here splays out slightly to allow us this lovely overhang there and under here it overhangs quite a bit I'm trying to establish the verticals now because all well, so far we have been concentrating on the angle, so if we get some nice safe verticals in, that gives us plenty of reference. So establishing all these shapes first and starting to put in some of the background. There's some nice trees here which will emphasise in a moment. And there's a bit of a field running through. There's a lovely little extension there. Again, we've got these little dormers tucked in under the thatch. And I'm keeping this very simple because it's it's a supporting feature. This is my main focal point. So. a bit more of this background. Some lovely spring foliage up here. And then this actually comes out a little bit wider, I think. Yeah. And we've got some garden plants in here. Some shrubs. And then the hedge, which I'm going to put down a little bit lower in order to give me a bit more of this bit here. Right, so in the front I need some, some more foliage and then the, the, there's a road going up there. Put in some of these uh, rather beautiful tall trees up at the back here. What I'm going to do is drift in some of this um, water soluble graphite which I can wet and that gives us a nice soft background over here. It's perfectly alright to mix water soluble graphite with ordinary graphite. Now then, this bit here is darker than the background. It's got a uh, shade, it's in the shade. So we come round and it sort of, it's rounded rather than flat. So there we go. Emphasize that darkness on that side. There's a little bit of tone on here, just a little. I can darken this in here to emphasise it. 
the ridge line being the lightest part. assumptions. This one, this roof is at a slightly different angle, so we can use that to emphasise the lightness of that one there. And some detail on this side. further than that along there. There's another window below this one. But because this isn't the main feature, the main focal point, I'm not going to put in too much detail. this in with water to uh, keep it soft. And what I'm going to do now is just use the water soluble graphite to emphasize the top of the cottage and, and, and pick out the light bits. This is the beauty of the water soluble graphite. It really emphasizes what you want to leave light better than just ordinary graphite shading also it gives this lovely misty effect to the trees which is very effective especially in today's lighting which is quite misty in the background you see how that sort of really pulled the cottage out now I didn't actually use water soluble graphite over here, but I can drift a bit over. So. And as I say, over this side, I'm not too worried about the, um, the detail on this building because this is a supporting feature and not the main building. Strengthens the, the tones a little bit and um, gives everything a little bit more emphasis. Mm. 